Well, I'm here with Kristen, and we're going to be talking about hydrangeas. You're with the Hydrangeas Plus. Yes. So you guys, this this is your specialty. Hydrangeas all the time. That's right. <laughs> Especially this time of year. Now, speaking of this time of year, Kristen, there has been a lot of odd weather this season, and so it really has, in most gardens at home, really pushed the bloom time back on hydrangeas. Right. At least three weeks. Now, I see a lot of color here, though, but that's because they're in greenhouses, protected and stuff, right? Right. So everything's going to be fine. Oh, Color's yes. still going to show up. <laughs> now, tell me about color, because I know a lot of people, viewers of the show, are, are have questions. They hear a lot of different information about how to change the color of hydrangeas. So let's go over a little primer on that. Sure. It's a common question. Blue is what we commonly see around here just because of our soil mm -hmm. acidity and the aluminum content. In a container like we have here, we have some blues and pinks, we do some amending. But mostly, if you want to go to pink, you need to raise the pH of the soil. Which would be lime. Lime, garden lime. Uh, to intensify the blues or to make your pink ones more blue, maybe in a container, is aluminum sulfate. Okay. And you can maybe do that application now. It might be a little late. But if you do want to change the color, we may have a couple more weeks to because do Because the general rule of thumb is once they, like this one, start showing their color, it's probably a little too late Correct. to change it. Yes. But if they're still tightly budded, you might be able to get away with it. Correct. When is the best time then to do those adjustments if you wanted to change the color? Mid-March. Okay. And then again, maybe in mid-April. Yeah. Now, you have, I, I don't even know how many varieties you all carry, but you have some new ones coming out. Tell I me do. about those. Sure. Uh, the one that we're going to be offering uh, for the macrophyllas is one called David Ramsey. Mm -hmm. It blooms on new wood, and it blooms early. Nice. So it could probably be showing color right now in the, in the garden. And then we have a new little lime, which is a limelight, a paniculata limelight dwarf mm -hmm. that we're excited about. Because the regular ones can get quite large. Correct. So what are the height three, what are those going to be? The little lime is probably a three or a four foot variety. Nice, yes. nice. So those are the two that I've decided on Be great so in a far. container, too. It is in a great in a yeah. container. Yeah. Uh, what else do you have? Oh, well, this is Brestenburg. This is one of my absolute favorite varieties that we grow here in the nursery, and maybe you can see why. I do. You know, <laughs> even, even on this one, you've got, you know, that start out with the lime green, then you have this, like, lovely lavender, periwinkle, dark blue, all on one shrub. That's right. And it's compact and very tightly cupped. Now, in the gardens, too, uh, this has been a wet spring for us. Yes. And um, I, I won't say I notice any of this on your hydrangeas here, but there are some little holes on some. Yes. Would that be slugs? It's probably slugs. And yes. what can a gardener do just to help not make that happen yeah, in their the gardens with them? Well, there's, of course, you can bait with beer. Yeah. Uh, but you know me. I, yeah, I don't be wasting beer long. on no slug. <laughs> <laughs> but there's slug bait. And, there and if you have pets, make sure you use something that's yeah. safe for pets. Yeah. But slug bait is probably the best way to get them. It really is. Now, um, you know, there's there's all kinds of hydrangeas available for you. There's all kinds of colors available now. It's really a fascinating uh, uh, plant to put in your garden. For more information, we would love you to come out and visit with Kristen out here because you can walk through the gardens and pick your own color, especially while they're blooming. Yes. Uh, but you can go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to their website. Kristen, it is always fun coming out here. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Good to see you.